So have you guys seen the dungeon, which is absolutely unreal for XP, easily the best in this game, uh, XP wise in regards to farming. Only problem is it's a dungeon which is only available during a quest line. Now, if you don't have access to it, there still may be a chance for you guys. So don't go skipping off this video because from what I have seen, there's actually stages to this quest which will allow you to go back into said dungeon, meaning you can farm this for that crazy XP. Stay tuned. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so from the videos I have seen, the quest is picked up from Senna, located within the Bear Tribe Refuge, located right here on the map. Now upon you first clearing out this area, which won't be available for you, uh, you need to clear it out and then the waypoint will open up and then guys, it will obviously become populated and you'll meet Senna. She has a quest for you called the Shattered Tribute. This quest leads you into this dungeon right here. Now the dungeon is called the Horfrost Demise. Now during this quest, the dungeon changes massively in regards to enemies within here. Meaning you guys who have this quest still active or haven't picked it up yet, can go and grab it and farm this dungeon for massive amounts of XP. This is done by completing the dungeon, obviously not picking up or completing anything to do with the objective that progresses the quest, leaving said dungeon, quitting out of the game and loading back in. This should reset the dungeon. Keep in mind, I have heard people say you can simply abandon the quest, pick it back up to reset the farm, but either or. Now, a lot of people have done this quest already, so they cannot go back to the quest and go to this dungeon farm, which again is amazing for XP. But guys, there is another chance for you to take advantage of this place because that quest we picked up from Senna and completed the Shattered Tribute is actually a part of a quest line. And while you could have a chance to go back into this dungeon. So this quest line consists of four parts. The first part is called the Shattered Tribute. Then we have the Hammer of the Champion, then the Beast Challenge, and lastly guys, the Call of the Ancients. Now this is the stage I was at, I was at the Beast Challenge. So I went ahead and completed that and then I opened up the Call of the Ancients. So if oh, you guys check your quest tabs, if you have any of these four quests you can see on screen now, you can still do this incredible XP farm. The Call of the Ancients though is the last step though, if you've already completed that I'm afraid, you won't be able to redo this place which is unfortunate because this farm is unreal. Easily the best I've seen in the game right now. The only issue is it's tied to a quest. So again guys, the Call of the Ancients leads you straight back into this dungeon where you finish this quest line. But obviously we do not want to finish it because finishing it obviously takes away this XP farm. So if you have any of these quests live guys within your quest tab, they are the Shattered Tribute, this one you can farm the dungeon with. If you've progressed past this and you have the Hammer of the Champion, complete that. You'll then have the Beast Challenge, complete that and then you'll unlock the Call of the Ancients. This is where that farm opens up for you again to take advantage of. So start this quest and you will enter this dungeon. Upon you being in here guys, obviously just take out all of the enemies, covering every corner. But what you do not want to do is you do not want to complete the dungeon. So you do not want to defeat the boss. Yes, there will be a mini boss within here for you to complete, which is a part of this quest. Upon you taking him out, it will tell you to advance to the boss. Do not destroy, do not kill, do not take out the boss. So clear out everything else in here until you get to that boss room. Then guys, you want to leave the dungeon as normal, quit out your game and simply load it back up. Upon doing this, re-enter the dungeon and it will reset. Every enemy in here will have reset. This works perfectly for me and I was resetting this dungeon as part of the quest every single time in doing this. Again, you can probably teleport back to the Bear Tribe Refuge Waypoint, abandon the quest and pick it back up to reset this. I didn't even try that but I heard it works for people. I've also heard leaving out the game and changing that world tier can help players who are encountering any issues. But for me, I was resetting every single time I left the dungeon and quit out the game, simply load it back in and it worked for me every time. Now the dungeon itself isn't the biggest, this means you can storm through it pretty quickly. On a world tier 4 with my character being at level 71, you can see the XP bar as I enter this dungeon and when I've cleared it out, so there's a lot of XP to get from this. When I was doing this, I was taking my time covering every corner and it took me about 5 minutes. I'm certain people out there with those crazy builds could run this in half the time, definitely under 3 minutes. 
Now, in regards to being in a group, I really don't see why this wouldn't work as long as the host has this quest active. Surely the team could join him within this dungeon, but it isn't something I have tried to be honest with you. But yes, guys, take advantage of this while you can. It's clearly a dungeon Blizzard didn't regard uh, as one of the ones you could farm, hence why I do not feel it received any kind of nerf because as you can see the amount of enemies within here is pretty crazy. The first part can be a little slow but trust me it just really does pick up and will earn you tons and tons of XP. Now I will say I did try out this dungeon without having this quest active but please do keep in mind this playthrough was at a stage of me being in between quests I was in between the first part of this quest which is called the Shared Tribute and I also completed the Hammer of the Champion but the one I was at was the Beast Challenge so keep in mind I hadn't fully completed this quest line so yeah keep in mind uh, this playthrough was at a stage of being in between quests within the same quest line which affects this dungeon and changes it up but when I went in here guys without having any quest active, it still seemed like a very good dungeon to farm, I'm not going to lie to you. My only real means of testing this though would be to complete this quest line, to fully complete this quest line. That means doing the Call of the Ancients, which is something I don't really want to do, because if I do this, I lose the actual quest and being able to farm this dungeon over and over for XP. So yes, that's not something I really want to do. But if there's somebody watching this video who has completed this quest line, fully completed this quest line, uh, please do let us know down below in that comment section exactly what this dungeon is like with no quest line active. Because like I said, when I went into here without having any quests active for myself, again, I was in between quest lines, even though I had none active, it still seemed like a pretty decent dungeon to run. Probably not the best in the game, but I wasn't really paying that much attention to it, to be honest with you. I know when I did have this quest active, when I was at the last part of this quest line, which is the Call of the Ancients, which is the gameplay you're seeing on screen now, there was a truck ton of enemies within here. So yes, like I said, I know for an absolute fact, when this quest is active, when you're a part of the quest within this dungeon, it just seemed really way, way, way more enemies. But yeah, guys, please let us know if you've completed this quest, what this dungeon is like post finished quest line but there we have it guys if you can do this i do recommend you doing it because as soon as blizzard clock on this thing is going to be nerfed to the ground there's no two which ways about it but guys if you did enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one